Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here. Welcome back and today we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of entity launches using the slime blocks that were added in Minecraft 1.8. Now what these allow you to do is bounce items and other things off of them, creating some really cool mechanisms and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a very large number of them. So on the screen you'll be able to see a content section. If you're a little bit pushed for time today then of course you can jump to the part that you want to get to, but for those of you who aren't doing much you can just sit back, relax and enjoy. Enjoy the video. This first design really is very simple, it is a vertical player launcher, all we have to do is run up to it, stand on one of the pressure plates and you can see that we bounce all the way up to the top. Now the way that you build this thing really is very simple, all you need to do is place down a pressure plate, some redstone dust underneath and then a sticky piston facing upwards with a slime block on top and that is you done and you can launch yourself way up into the sky making it pretty useful for getting around on different levels in a survival base for example. But what if you don't want to go straight upwards, you also want to go sideways a little bit as well. Well, this little setup will help you out there. All you have to do is hit this button and you can see we get launched both upwards and sideways. And once again, this one is incredibly easy to build. If you just take a look here, it is one block wide. There is no redstone hidden. So if you do want to build it, then you can just take your screenshots right here. Obviously, this block there is the button and this piston down at the bottom is a regular piston. You may be thinking that is pointless, but it actually causes is a block update to this piston which allows the whole design to work. So get your screenshots now ladies and gents and we will move on to the next one. This second set of designs is of course to do with actual entity launchers, launching things that come out of dispensers and such. And the first one we're going to be taking a look at today is of course the TNT cannon. This was designed by NiceMarkMC who really is a very good YouTuber and this design is absolutely brilliant. Once again, being only one block wide means that you can see all of the redstone. It's so easy to build, it just involves two sticky pistons, two slime blocks, a dispenser and a sprinkle of redstone. It's very easy to build and I'm sure you won't have any trouble. Another cool thing about this design is it can also be used to launch mobs up into the air which really is quite good fun and some of the mobs look absolutely hilarious when you launch them. I'll let you test that out for yourselves. Another build by another YouTuber. This one is designed by Seth Bling and it allows you to launch potions very far off into the distance, far further than a dispenser normally would. And once again, this one is very, very easy to build. You can ignore that hopper over there. That is just for extra storage. But as you can see, it only involves two pieces of redstone dust, one repeater, one sticky piston, one dispenser, and of course, our dispenser. Very nice work. This third lot of designs are transportation based. So the first one we're going to look at is a minecart based design. If we plonk down our minecart, you can see it travels along and then gets bounced way upwards into the air. So if you ride along in it, it really is quite fun. And this could be quite useful if you want to go up quite high on a minecart. Now, as far as building this one is concerned, it is extremely simple. You just ignore all this stuff. This is all you need to concentrate on. You've got your detector rail that runs into this redstone dust. We've got a repeater set to four ticks running into our sticky piston with a slime block on top then all you need is a regular rail on an immovable object and you have got yourself a pretty sweet minecart launcher. This boat launcher over here pretty much works in the same way. If we just move along in our boat and go through the tripwire, you can see we get bounced upwards nice and high. I would almost say that this works better than the minecart one. For anyone that's wondering, yes, I did just forget how to get out of the boat. But as far as the redstone is concerned, this one is just as easy as the last. All we have is a tripwire that runs into this piston. Once again, we have got that four tick delay. The tripwire redstone output goes through this piston, activates this repeater, which then goes into the piston down at the bottom. All you have to be careful of is that your slime block is exactly one block beneath the waves. That is where it needs to be. And also it has to be surrounded by these immovable objects. I myself use obsidian, but you could use melons, pumpkins, or whatever floats your boat, really. So there we have it, ladies and gents. This marks the end of the quickest and probably the easiest quick and easy episode I have ever done. But if you did find it useful, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.